Hey there, friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. My name is Gary Green, and your name is whatever your name is, but I'm thankful that you're with me. We are here to get our minds aligned with the truth of God's Word, and today we'll be looking at John chapter 8, verses 12 through 19, to get our perspective on what God wants us to understand for this day. Now, Jesus has been having an ongoing conversation, almost a debate, with the religious leaders of his day. Because he was speaking at one of the Jewish festivals, teaching everyone, and they've come to confront him because they don't like the things that he's saying. Now, today we pick up in John chapter 8, verses 12 through 19. And again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You are bearing witness about yourself. Your testimony is not true. Jesus answered, Even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true, for I know where I came from and where I am going. But you did not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. Yet, even if I do judge, my judgment is true. For it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law, It is written that the testimony of two people is true. I am the one who bears witness about myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness about me. They said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. Now, friends, we're only going to focus in on a little bit of this today, and we'll look at some more of it tomorrow. But what I find very interesting about the way Jesus interacts with the Pharisees in particular, these religious leaders who knew the law of God backwards and forwards. And by the law of God, we're talking about the first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And they come to him saying, "Uh, you can't really uh, verify these things. You're only one person. Therefore, your testimony is not true. And they are appealing to a principle in the Old Testament law that by the mouth of two witnesses, something will be confirmed. And Jesus says, well, whether there's two people standing here in front of you or not, the reality is that there are two people who are witnessing to what I'm saying. And that's myself and the Father, Father God, the the creator of of the universe, who you claim to worship, he is testifying about me. But you see, the Pharisees were pretty dense when it came to spiritual matters. Though they had studied the law of God, they did not have it in their hearts. They didn't quite understand the exact things that God was working out in their very day through the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus had come as the Messiah, and he's beginning to claim that he's the Messiah by saying things like, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't walk in darkness. But they weren't having it. They didn't believe he really was the Messiah. And so Jesus is confronting them here. He's telling them the truth is the truth. Whether your dogma or your tradition or your experience or your past tells you it's the truth or not, It still is the truth. And friends, in the spirit of what Jesus says here, I feel like I need to say to you, whether you believe Jesus is the Son of God or not, the truth is the truth. He is the Son of God. He has made himself known as the Son of God through the very reliable historical testimony of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Whether you believe he's able to forgive sin or not, The truth is the truth. Jesus is the way. He is the light of the world. He is the one who can take us out of darkness and move us into light. And friends, whether you believe or not that Jesus is able to help you in your time of need right now as Savior, as Lord, as the King of the universe, the truth is the truth. He is able to help you. He is wanting to come alongside you, but he requires one thing. He requires a heart of humility. The scripture says God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. He comes to help. That word grace oftentimes means help. He comes to help those who humble themselves and seek him for that help. Lord Jesus, 
I just want to acknowledge what a revelation it's been to me in my life that you have revealed yourself as the truth of God, as the light of the world, as the one who came from the Father and returned to the Father and judges all of humanity according to whether or not they have placed their faith in you. So Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters, those listening right now, asking you to move them the next step in their ability to trust you, to believe in you, to see that the truth is the truth and to bank on it, whether they have believed it in the past or not. Lord, help them in Jesus' name. And friends, I would love it if you would consider becoming part of the Morning Mindset Media prayer team. You'd get an email on a regular basis telling you what's going on behind the scenes and how you can lift us up in prayer. Go to morningmindsetmedia.com slash prayer team to sign up.